Hey, this is Crystal. Hey, this is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel. I just remembered not two weeks ago, or approximately two weeks ago. Now, I don't use, what is it, Instagram. I don't even recall the name that quick. I use Facebook. I really don't use it very, very, very frequently at all. Every now and then I'll get something that says so-and-so on Instagram, you know, because the accounts are linked, and I look at what they send. Very seldom, though. You know, maybe twice a week, maybe three times a week I look at it. Whereas, you know, you may do it 30 times a day or 20 times a day or something like that. I don't. I do, I do Facebook like that, maybe. Yes, absolutely. So I get a message. 28 stab wounds liked or comment or liked something that you looked at. Well... Knowing the neighbors I deal with and the deviousness of this whole situation I'm living in, that's not something to just go over my head. 28 stab wounds, huh? So then, uh, listen up, uh, FBI, Department of Justice, GBI. This was not two weeks ago. Approximately two weeks ago. Maybe 10 days. Maybe two weeks. I thought about it. I said, my son Kyle is 28. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? And you all go after, um, you, you know, you all do detective work. You all go after, um, uh, you go after clues and stuff like that. Ain't that a big one for an idiot to send me something like that? They did, though, out the clear blue. They're not a contact of mine. Don't know them, never seen them, and never heard of them. But they were dumb enough trying to... You know, you, you all know, because this is the work you do, trying to give a clue without giving a clue. You know, they thought it would just go over my head, like they, I'm telling off on myself, but I'm not going to. She won't even know what I'm talking about. Just 28 stab wounds, like the comment that you liked. That's what they did, though, on Instagram, which I almost never use, by the way. So now, you know, I keep randomly getting all these notifications just recently, just in the last few days. Oh, so and so liked the comment you made. So and so liked the comment you made. So and so liked the comment. Crystal's rarely making comments on Instagram. Really? I don't even know what comment that was supposed to be. Maybe it was about a house. So, what they're trying to do now, because of course, when I, I, I thought about it, I said, wait a minute, my son Kyle is 28. No doubt. No doubt. I, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Everything you can consider, 20 stabbings, her son is 28. She says they kidnapped him. They, they're doing different things to her ch grown children, and they are and they have. And you're right. If your mind takes you there, it should. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Can't reach him, can't get into It's like he fell off the earth. And he was in law school in California. So, um, yeah. Absolutely. And like I say, the only way to reach my grown children that I'm telling you have been kidnapped by these people is to, they have to be visited and I have to verify as them. I'm telling you, because these people devious, they'll have their ID or they'll have their, um, you know, be standing there answering their door telling you, yeah, I'm so, oh, I'm fine. Nothing's wrong with me, you know, and it ain't even a person because remember, they, they're devious. And this, this whole thing they do is souped up. You know, it's a bit elaborate. I hate to say that. But, yeah, widespread. And so, yeah, 28 stab wounds. Who does that? Who names himself that and sends me a message? So what I noticed since I reported that, because I thought about it, I called it in to the FBI and NGB, which were both highly interested in that. So you probably already have that information. The Department of Justice wouldn't have it yet because I just contacted them yesterday. But, yeah, 28 stab wounds. And I said, my son is 28. And so um, that's not nothing. That instantly triggers in someone's head or that instantly gives a clue or puts a chain of events in someone's head that's a detective. That's not random. That's the strongest clue anybody could have got given, you know? So, yeah, where do you take, follow that 
trail and see where it takes you, you know. Follow that trail and see where it takes you. But I promise you, that's not random. So, yeah, this is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel. And like I say, I should have a son, uh, Kyle, that's 28 years old. Birthday came and went. Flew straight by. Family didn't reach him. He didn't reach family. Nothing. Nothing. And that's not normal. That ain't normal. It ain't natural. It ain't that he's all so busy studying for. I can promise you it's not. I promise you. Unfortunately for him and for me, his mom, that it's not a good sign at all. This is Crystal on the Blood of Jesus channel. But there's other things, like I said, that I forgot to put in this last video I made. And so I'm putting it in this one. I made the video on reasons to call the police slash GBI slash FBI slash Department of Justice. And this is another reason why you call them. It's not for no reason. It's for very extreme reasons that I've had to call. Okay. So the police calling nightly. When that started was my daughter had gotten a job with Amazon way out in Forest Park. Okay. So the first night we leave out, I told you the people hack, and I've also told you they um, surveil from inside. You all are the detectives. You you know about all of that. So you know that can be done, and it is done. Whatever they do, they watch us on their phones. Voila. So, um, and I'm glad I'm telling it to ears that know exactly this type of stuff goes on, can go on, not, not, doesn't phase you. You've heard of it. It's nothing new. Okay, so um, they know when we're leaving. So, yeah, it's good. To be, I can say this because I know people know what I'm talking about. So they know when we're leaving out, when we're coming in, when we're about to leave out, watching everything. So we leave out her first night of work. She started 1 a.m. So we leave out like 12, 15 a.m. in the morning. Get out there. All of a sudden, boom, about 20 headlights come on. You remember I told you these people kidnappers. About 20 headlights. I'm going to say about mm, yeah, at least 20, maybe 30. So maybe 15 cars. If it was 15, 12, 15 cars, so there's 24 to 30 headlights. Come on. Okay. Then I looked down towards the entrance where we would have had to drive into, and somebody's out of their car. Their car's in the middle of the road, and they stepped out, you know, just standing around like they're going to block the way when we drive down there. And the rest would have been history. But because I'm smarter than that, and God is really good and gave me common sense, I said, Go back in the house, go back in the house. So me and Erica went back in the house. That commenced me calling every single night that she worked the Douglasville police to say I feel I need an escort it's late and I'm uncomfortable there's a whole bunch of people out there who knows what they're up to you know because it's hard to explain but yet it's perfectly explainable you know to you all you know exactly what the, I know exactly what it, I know what it meant and so especially after watching them try to kidnap my daughter Crystal and um, so, yeah, the cars were there, so I called the police. And, of course, they knew when I called the police because phones definitely have to tack by, hacked and tapped by them. And so they all disappeared. Police came, escorted us on to the car. You know, that's all I asked. And then we got out of here, took her all the way to Forest, Forest, Park, Park, Forest Park in Illinois. It's Park Forest. Took them all the way to Forest Park. And um, then, guess what? So she starts at 1 a.m., right? So I'm coming back at 2 a.m. You think I was going to drive up in here? Whether I feel I was uh, equipped or not, I was not going to drive up in here by myself. So guess what? That's, that, that precipitated me calling the police again, saying it's really late. My complex at times is really wild. There's random people out at all hours. Can I please just have someone to escort me in? So I can go into my home. And they, God bless them, they helped me every single time. Every single time. It, what an uncomfortable feeling to have to do that. And what I mean by that is, you don't want to have to call the police every single night your daughter goes to work. 
that was was it four nights or five? I think it was five nights a week. You know, because normally that doesn't look right. Why would you have to call twice a night? Yeah, but I did. But I did. Because they showed me that first night that they were insane. And so if I didn't do that, you know, there they were that first night. And um, while I would be gone, they'd be all up in my house. They totally had a way to gain illegal entry. And that's what they would do when we would drive away is would be in my house doing all kinds of stuff. They had put pee stains all over my couch. Yeah, yeah. I told you earlier on the 44-minute video, they, they put something in these two containers of, um, what was it, a garlic powder, garlic, which I love garlic powder. Yeah, they'd be all up in everything or anything. Stuff was stolen. My ex-husband's ashes, they were in this diamond-encrusted little locket type of thing. They stole that. They stole that. They stole my daughter's Beats headphones. We don't have a lot of stuff here that costs a lot of money. But the Beats headphone, headphones she had, they totally stole that. They totally stole uh, my ex-husband's ashes, the locket. And um, they've taken many other things, you know, clothing items and stuff like that. Um, my daughter, I can say, you know, she has gym shoes and you know, name brand gym shoes and some jewelry and stuff too. I don't. I just, I buy what I feel looks nice best or what I can afford, period. I don't buy name brand stuff or expensive stuff. I don't have the money for that. Not that she does, but occasionally she had some credit, you know. And um, anyway, her age, her youth, she bought name brand stuff. Or even a, ref a, lo a refund from a st student loans. However you do after they pay your schooling and send you the rest. So anyway, yeah, it's taken. Stuff was definitely taken from here. But the point is they were in here illegally doing all sorts of stuff. And then the shame is when you call police, tell them to come by, which I did a couple times. You know, they come by, of course, they would scramble and get out of here. You know, because why? Because your phone's tapped, hacked, and they know that you're calling the police. Just a disgusting way to force somebody to live. So I've been forced to live like this since... Uh, February of well I moved in that apartment in that house in 2014 yeah 2014 so what's the name of that street Timber Creek Drive or whatever you all will find out because you find out everywhere I've ever lived it was a house in Lawrenceville Georgia and uh, Mark, Mark used to live next door to me um and that's why I first called the police on someone. And um, let me see. Yeah, and I went in and talked to him about him. Once I figured out he was trying to do me harm, trying to get someone to kill me or do me harm, I actually went in and talked to him about him. So that'll be on record there. Gwinnett County, been there. That's where I went. That's where I had to go. Because Gwinnett County handled that address but anyway yes this is crystal perkins here in douglasville georgia at the douglasville very improper apartments extraordinarily so and then some that's my title and i'm sticking to it bye for now